weeks ago, I held a workshop teaching friends how to use Coral Plus to make bowls. Uh, today, I'm going to start documenting what I talk about at the workshop and share it with you. Hopefully, you will find it useful. This is a model boat. I used the cardboard to create this boat. This is corrugated cardboard. Coral Plus is something very similar, which you see, see the structure here. And instead of paper, it's made out of plastic. People will always ask, are they reliable? I would say yes. Now, I haven't gone through detailed scientific testing because I don't have that resource. I did some very simple testing, just flip it. I can do it 500, 600 times. You will see the joint. It doesn't change. From that perspective, I believe it's very reliable for what I need. Let's say if I make a boat, I use it for a few seasons, I have no doubt it can last. The concern I have is when I fold it one time and fold it again, you see the pointed angle here. And obviously there's a stress point here. I have no idea how long can it last. The more force I apply it down, the, the angle is more pointed. If it rock against something, we can damage the surface very easily. Be because of this property, when I design a bowl, I want to minimize the number of stress points. And in this bowl, as an example, you can see the stress point right here, uh, right here at this corner, and also right here. So there are three major stress points. If it turns out that there are some cracks there, there are easy way to fix it too. So uh, I, I don't think you need to worry too much about it. I would suggest you before you use your boat, do a casual examination at the stress points. If they're good, you're good to go. If not, then you may try to patch it with a uh, tape. I will show you in some other video how to fix the stress point or crack or damage on the hull of the boat and it is very easy and it's also reliable next talk about the coral plus I got all these samples from the manufacturer and it is usually referred to the thickness of the coral plus the density in this case is 5 mm thick 1 kilogram per meter square it has a special material they call it rigid material Furthermore, when you try to order the Coral Plus, you may want to add some other properties to the Coral Plus you order. Or you want to have an anti-UV mix into the Coral Plus and also the color. The 4mm one, the one I got from Home Depot, use that on it. It will collapse. Next question is, can I use the 4mm Coral Plus to make a boat? I would say yes, because I make one and it works out really well but I do have a structure to make the hull much stronger I ordered um, I ordered a hundred sheet of the 6mm one with a custom size which is 5 feet by 10 feet they don't carry that at the uh, Home Depot or similar stores they are usually 4 feet by 8 feet it is a little bit small for building a boat there are ways to still use those 4x8 sheet to make bowls. And I have used tapes, taping two pieces together. I can use a 4 feet by 8 feet to make a pontoon kayak, able to handle the wick generated by a motorboat nearby. And in that case, I want to design with a higher free ball. But with a 4x8 feet, uh, sheet I have limitation what I can do. The width of 5 feet will work so much better. One other thing I want to point out is the sample one I got from China. That one was 3.87. This rigid one also 3.87. I, I would say just call it 4 millimeter. Why? But then the one from Home Depot is really the spacing is really wider apart is 6 millimeter. There's a reason why it's not strong. Thank you.